LeeDavison.com. Welcome to Thursday Night Stamp Therapy. I'm so glad that you're joining me today. I need your energy today. I need some stamp therapy. I'm just having one of those days. It is rainy here in central Illinois, and I don't know. I just feel a little achy, a little bit off. Do you feel like that when it rains out? Well, <laughs> with the playing in the rain stamp set, I thought we might turn this rain around and bring some smiles and bring some sunshine to our day. Let me know what it's like where you're at. Of course, right now it's 7.15 p.m., <laughs> 7.20. And so it's dark. It's not sunshiny, but I'm going to bring some sunshine anyway to our evening. I'm so glad that you're joining me tonight. If you're brand new to my channel, hi, <laughs> I'm Julie Davison. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator of almost 21 years, and I come live every Thursday night to share some projects using Stampin' Up! products. So I've got two projects ready to go and one more um, that I'm noodling on, and we'll see how that comes about. Um, but I'm so glad that you're here. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on future videos. Um, well, today I have, don't let me forget, some cards that I've received in the mail in the last few weeks I want to share with you. Um, but before we get to that, I want to make a sunshiny happy card using the Playing in the Rain bundle and Rain or Shine paper. I was inspired by this card that I received from Janet Casto, and this is a hidden flap card. Oh my gosh, don't you just love a good fun fold? Janet sent me the link she was inspired by. Jennifer Helm, who posted a video back in 2021, and Jennifer said she was inspired by Levon um, Schwen. Um, I can kind of read my handwriting. <laughs> um, I've got all the measurements to show you how to make this awesome hidden flap card. So if you haven't seen this one before, um, I'm going to show you how to make it tonight. And I think you're going to really love it. Whether you're using the by the base suite like Janet or playing in the rain or whatever you have at home, I think this is a really fun card that is sure to wow your friends and family when you send it to them in the mail. I'm going to try so hard to keep up with your comments. I see. I see everybody. Hi, Sharon and Heather and Melissa and Tony. Oh, I'm so glad that it was beautiful there. Unfortunately, your, your, our rain is probably headed your way, Tony. <laughs> oh, and Melissa, it looks like it was, did you say 80 degrees yesterday in Austin? Um, oh, yesterday. Um, oh, I, I hope that it is warm again. Um, I, I don't mind the cooler weather. I don't need it to be 80 degrees, but I just, I need some sunshine in my life. Um, all right, Playing in the Rain is a new bundle. It's in the January through April 2023 Stampin' Up! mini catalog. It's the purple mini catalog, and it's still available. <laughs> I feel like there's so many things right now that are currently not available to order, and as far as I know, Playing in the Rain is still safe. I cannot wait for my paper pumpkin to come, which is inspired by this suite. I haven't seen it yet, and I just cannot wait to, to get it in the mail. It should be coming pretty soon. I think like any day. Has anybody else gotten their paper pumpkin in the mail yet? Um, they're definitely on the way this week and I'm looking forward to seeing what those cards look like. Well, this card's going to be really fun. Um, and I just wanted to show you the designer paper. So, um, this is a 12 by 12 paper and I've cut it down just to show you. This is the size that I included in my product show. We've got some cute little characters here, pig and turtle and a dog. And then these bigger ones go with the dies that coordinate with this set. Really great. I think I've done a couple videos already with the playing of the rain, so I won't dwell too much. We've got the umbrellas, we've got the rain, and this paper is so fun because it has sort of this glossy UV coating, which is awesome. Then we've got this, um, the flowers and the top half of this is sky and then some more dreary rain cloudy skies go away <laughs> and then on the other side bright colors flirty flamingo and mango melody really fun sunshiny day I should have gotten all of my playing in the rain samples out to show you but they are across the room maybe I'll grab them when we're finished up with this card I've got my 
my pieces all pre-cut and ready to go. And I'll include the measurements in the video description for you when we're all done. Our card base here is five and a half by 10 inches. And I've scored at four and a half, I'm sorry, four and a quarter and eight and a half. It's correct here, I just misspoke. Um, four and a quarter and eight and a half. And this is thick white cardstock. Um, I, I was kind of debating and I started with a flirty flamingo and ended up changing my mind. So I'm gonna use a bone folder to give myself a nice good crease here on these folds this um this smaller flap is going to go on the inside and kind of hold um hold our, our piece together so it's going to open up like this then the piece on the inside is four and a half by seven and a half and scored at two and three quarters th three and a half four and a quarter and seven inches and this is going to be the little piece that comes in and out. So let's do some, let's do some quick scoring our, or folding on this one. I'm gonna uh, fold on these score lines. So this is, um, it it's going to fit in, and this one is going to go up like that. Let's just kind of get a quick idea here. So it's going to fit in like this, and this piece is going to attach to um, the flap. And I'm just realizing now the issue that that will present. <laughs> um, this one and the one that I looked at Jennifer's had the same color card base. Maybe I do need to use Flirty Flamingo. Um, I still can switch it. I just liked the white. So the problem is you can see the pink against the, um, against the, um, I guess it's going to go down like this. Maybe it'll be okay. I think it'll be okay. We're going to give it a shot anyway. <laughs> okay. So we've got that piece that's going to fold back like this. It's kind of like a book and I believe that will glue together. Yes. Okay. So coming together, it's going to be beautiful. We have a piece that is going to go inside of this card and that's two and a half inches by four inches like uh, that. Why does that look like, you know what? It really should be like four and a quarter, shouldn't it? Is this the right size? Uh, but, 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 you know what? My cardstock is too wide. Four and, yep. I think I got five, four and a half here. Nope. Yes, I do have four and a half. <laughs> okay, my measurement. Oh, you know what? Okay, I'm sorry. This is what happens when I make it live on air. <laughs> um, it's okay. Okay, we're going to just change this measurement. Okay, so sorry. I'll have the correct measurement in the video description for you. All I did was just cut a little bit off the... Um, so it's just going to be not quite as tall. Okay, so four and a quarter by seven and a half. And you know what? If you did four and a half, it's not wrong. You'll just want to make the white piece to go inside four and a quarter instead of four inches. Okay, so I didn't mess anybody up. We're still good. All right. And I'll have that measurement in the video description. All right, we've got some other pieces going on in here. On the inside, we have some designer paper, and this is for the inside of the card. So over here, we're gonna have four inches by five and a quarter, and one and a quarter by five and a quarter. And these are just to decorate. I don't usually over layer things, but I'm going with it today. I'm using Janet's card as my inspiration and adding some layers and colors. I really want everything to tie together on this card beautifully. So we're gonna go ahead and stick these down and embellish the inside of our card. I love that, okay? And then um, for the front of the card, this is all for the inside. For the front, I have a piece of designer paper that is three and a half inches by four and three quarters. And I'm gonna layer it onto three and three quarters by five inches. Oh my gosh, Lynn, it snowed. You're not that far away from me. I hope I don't have snow coming my way, but if, if it's snowing over there, then it's, <laughs> it's going to snow over here, I would imagine. I'm layering these together. These are going to go on the front, so let's just do the front really quick. Okay, I'm going to go in here. This is why I wanted the white, because I wanted that to pop. It is um, 
it is February. What is today? February 16th. And our swap theme this month for the Great Big Card Swap is circles. And so I brought in some circles and we're going to put circles on this card. And I also have some, a pink circle. I, well, I think I like that one better. Um, I embossed it with the raindrops embossing folder. Um, and so we're going to have some circles coming down our card here on the front to celebrate our circle swap theme. And I have Mr. Fox. I love this. The dies coordinate with the designer paper. And so we're going to die cut Mr. Fox to go on the front of the card. And I'm going to use my little mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. This is Desi. This is Lucy's Kim companion <laughs> and Lucy is my um my little stamp and cut and emboss machine the white one so um if you have a mini stamp and cut and emboss machine it comes with different platforms normally you use the platform number one to create your sandwich however if you're having some issues getting it to fit I would swap it out and try platform number three instead it's a little bit um it's a little bit thinner and so um, if you're having trouble with it fitting through just try to go two two three on your sandwich and it should work a lot better for you all right so platform one and then the cutting plate and then we're going to do the designer paper and the die we're going to do that cutting side down and line this up and if you want to get it to stay put just where you want it you can use something like a sticky note to um just to kind of hold that down so that's what i'm going to do because i did cut this ahead of time and um i ended up with a white border and i didn't like it so this time i'm using the sticky note gonna hold it down in place now if you don't have a mini stamp and cut and emboss machine you can get this little boho blue one for only $30 when you sign up to be a demonstrator during celebration you get an extra $50 in your kit and then you have the choice of also picking out the mini machine for half price it's such an amazing deal oh my goodness gracious I have a little flyer let me show it to you really quick three options when you join as a demonstrator you can get just the 50 extra dollars so 175 dollars for 99 dollars plus tax in your starter kit you choose the product whatever you want and then you have the option if you want to add on the mini stamp and cut and emboss machine in boho blue or white for just 30 dollars more it's insane it's so crazy this special is so so good and i've had so many people take advantage of it already if you haven't and you've been thinking about it <laughs> you're running out of time the celebration offer ends february 28th which is just like less than two weeks away so check out the link in the information check out the information in the video links if you would like to learn more about this awesome opportunity all right we have a very nice little die cut here and so we're going to use that to layer onto our card and then i've got um my stamps. We're going to do Oh Happy Day on the front. Oh my gosh, I just love this. You know what? I'm, I lost my Loose Daisy embellishments. I need to find them because I was just thinking they would be the perfect thing to add on to this card. Oh Happy Day. Oh my gosh, I just love this. I love circles. Circles are my favorite. I feel like I could use them on any card. I'm going to check really quick and see if I can't find those embellishments. Oh, man. Oh, I didn't realize I had those. <laughs> One more place. Well, that's dragon. Oh, oh, I found them! Okay. I swear I was looking all over and couldn't find them the other day. I think that the loose daisy embellishments are currently on back order, uh, but they're they're coming back soon. So um, keep checking for that and everything else in the meantime from this suite is available so you can still get it. I know, right? <laughs> um, I think I have sufficiently aired them out now because they, the smell doesn't bother me as much as it used to. So I think we're good, uh, but I did warn you guys when I first got them that they were kind of stinky. Um, and so if, if you are are sensitive to smells like that then you'll you'll definitely need to consider airing them out um, if you get them and it bothers you a bit 
Um, okay, I'm gonna bring that down. And let's get this layered on. I used the stylish shapes. Um, everything is on back order. Um, I thought it was just the um, the loose days. Oh, you just mean everything in general. Like there's a lot on back order, I think. Because I'm pretty sure that the suite is okay, except for the loose daisy embellishments. And it is true. We do have a lot of dies and punches that are on back order. But there's still so many amazing things um, in this catalog to, um, to use. And even if you... Um, aren't going to get this suite. I hope that this idea will inspire you using whatever you have at home, whatever that may be. Um, okay, we're gonna do some um, liquid glue to add um, some daisies to this card. And I'm gonna go with five. We always like to do odd numbers. And so I'm gonna do five dots and five daisies. And I'm gonna mix up the mix up the colors. Oh, I love that. Just a sprinkle of little daisies. You could use any little embellishment. And then this is gonna go on the front, but I'm gonna let that glue dry. And while that glue is drying, we can work on our inside piece. So coming back to those layers um we have we have the pink cardstock and the white and so the white is two and a half by four let me put that over here and we're going to stamp on it let me see if i can remember how this goes i think it goes this way so we're gonna do a little tear and tape on this flap this is the end of a roll in fact I think that is the last piece and it was like ready for this card um yes Sharon the daisies the loose daisy um embellishments are very 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 flat um and they're not very heavy either so really really like paper thin um almost and very lightweight um so they should not affect the mailing very much very flat that's what I love about them Okay, so we've got, we've got this, and we're going to glue this flap down like so, and we're gonna do some stamping on this piece, which is gonna go here. So I have black and flirty flamingo, and first the sentiment is going to say, rainy days are better with you. Most definitely, right? Rainy days are always better with a friend. And we're gonna add some flowers because what happens after it rains, we get flowers. Oh, I love that. Nice and simple here. This is gonna go on the inside of our inside little mini card. Oh, I was starting to say, and I think I got <laughs> that um, for the front, I used the stylish shapes to die cut the circles these are back in stock and my favorite dies ever there are squares circles and banners and i just feel like i use this every single week i love it so much you probably are sick of me saying that <laughs> for the inside i die cut with the um, layering diorama dies Doo -doo -doo. Here's the item number. I die cut from the designer paper, our bunny. You know, both of these I just die cut from the designer paper. I love the easiness of doing that and not having to worry about, um, you know, coloring and, you know, stamping and all that stuff. So I love just being able to, um, to just die cut and use those images. I wanted to bring in some of the, um, the mango color. And so, I did do a little um, fussy cutting of the umbrella here just to kind of add, just to kind of add on the side. Okay, we're ready to put our card together. The pocket piece is going to have some more of that tear and tape. And I just used that roll, so I need to get out a new one. 
I just had an order arrive. Look how big the tear and tape is when you get it. Oh my gosh, does it say how many yards are on here? 27 yards of tape on the tear and tape. This is my favorite. Let me show you the item number really quick since I have the bag right there. I always use it when I have cards like this that have like extra fold, extra layers. I just want to make sure that everything stays put. Um, and so tear and tape is great. And I love it because you can tear right off the roll. Um, that's why it's called tear and tape. And I always say it is the best terrible tape ever. <laughs> um, get it terrible. It's not terrible. It's wonderful, but it's terrible. <laughs> It's not terrible, but it's terrible. Anyway, I'm going to just do a little at the top and a little at the bottom to create a pocket. Okay, so this is just a pocket so that this can fit inside the pockets. And then we're going to, is this going to work right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> we're going to center the mini card inside and I'm coming just inside the score line. And I'm going to take that tear and tape off, just peel that liner off, going right up to the fold line, and then we're going to fold it. And then that flap will stick to, it will stick to the inside of the card. So it sticks in there and it creates this sort of pull as you open it. And then it has a flap that opens here. Rainy days are better with you. Oh my God, it's so cute. <laughs> We're ready to stick our card front on. And I really wasn't thinking because this is not... Um it's not dry yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the adhesive, um, and I'm just guessing. <laughs> I'm putting it on the front of the card, and I'm going to put the card front on. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. I'm going to have to find someone so special to send this card to. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's open it up and take a look. Oh, happy day. And then on the inside, we've got our cute raindrops. Rainy days are better with you. Oh, I love it. This is called a hidden flap card. And special thanks again to um, Janet Casto. Oh, let me put hers back together. Janet Casto, who sent me this by the bay version of the hidden flap card. And many thanks to Jennifer Helm for inspiring us with her measurements and, and tutorial so that we can make our own version. So I hope that you're inspired as well to try this card. I really love this playing in the rain. Um, and so I'm just going to step over to my sample box so I can show you some more cards with this bundle. Okay. Oh, let me pull them out. I should have done this ahead of time and I'm so sorry that I didn't. Um, okay, here they are. Oh, I love them. And one more that I think is over here. Um... Here's the diorama card that I did in the video with mom, Sunday stamping with Susan and Julie. I shared this one recently and this one <laughs> and this one. This is a shaker card that mom made for our video. And then this swap card is from Mary, Mary McNeely. And this one is from Betsy Kreider. And this one is from Connie Patch. Oh my goodness, I just absolutely love the Rain or Shine Suite and it definitely makes me smile and bring some sunshine to a rainy, dreary day. I hope the same is true for you. I hope this card made you smile and that you'll give that hidden flap card a try at home. Are you guys ready for another card? Um, I have another card prepared for you that is inspired by, I know this is going to seem so silly, it's inspired by 
a Christmas card that I received from Trina Hillegas. And um, I, I don't know, I, I had this on my desk and I just was really loving the layout with the embossed um, background and then the little sort of focal point. And so I was trying to decide what to use. And as I was pulling out the playing with the rain paper, I came across this one. Um, oh gosh, what is this paper called? I think, is it called Legendary Ride? Let's take a look. Ready to Ride, page 69. And um, Legendary Ride is the stamp set. So here's the suite, Ready to Ride. And we've got this fun designer paper that is a specialty paper with black foil. There's also a metal plate embossing folder, the adhesive backed studs and the legendary ride stamp set and coordinating die set. Oh my gosh. I know, right? It's so cool for masculine cards. And I did end up getting the stamp set. I don't have the dies because I'll be honest, I don't have any motorcycle lovers in my family. And so um, it's not one that I would reach for and use a lot, but I just thought the stamp set was really cool. And the paper is super cool too. So this is a 12 by 12 designer paper and every single piece has this sort of basic gray with black foil design so you get that specialty coating on all of them um, and then the back side has some additional images like the motorcycles and the gear this one has different like squares and rectangles that are different like um, symbols and all like full color then we've got like the gas stations another sort of metal plate and then road signs. Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh, so fun. Okay, so I, I was inspired by Trina's card and I couldn't decide whether to use the embossing folder or a piece of the designer paper. I think we're gonna use the embossing folder. And so I've done black um, and black. So we have a black card base and the black, um, the black embossing folder. So I was kind of sticking with the, the inspiration there. So this is just gonna go on with some regular adhesive. Ooh, that's kind of a cool texture on the back side. I like that. Um, and, and then we're going to do, um, we're going to do Harley colors with black and orange. And so I have a piece just like Trina used. And I'm thinking uh, of stamping the motorcycle. I haven't even mounted. This is the first time I've used this. I wanna do a tag here and the motorcycle, I think the small one's gonna have to work because the other one is just too big. Unless I die cut around it, you know what? I don't have the die cuts, but I think I could still just do, um, I think I could fussy cut it. I think I'm going to. So we'll we'll do a little fussy cutting tonight. If you've got the coordinating dies, this would be a lot easier. <laughs> um, all right, let's get out our big our big block. Do you guys have this um, this designer paper or this um, stamp set? Let me know in the comments if this is something that you think you would use to make cards for the guys in your life. Andrea says, um, don't forget. Oh, thank you so much for the reminder. If you're enjoying the project ideas that I'm sharing, please, please, please give this video a thumbs up and like it. Um, and of course, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on more videos. Maybe we'll do this one on the inside. Okay, next up, Dad, you're the coolest. And... Um, I only have one dad, so he might just get this card. <laughs> he is the coolest. Um, all right, this is going to be for the inside. So I'm just going to grab another piece for us to um, fussy cut. I don't know what this is, but we'll use that. Will it fit? Yes. Okay. I'm going to stamp in the orange. The pumpkin pie is the color I'm using. And we're just going to do some... Oh, this was supposed to be what I was gonna punch for the tag. <laughs> That's okay, I'll get another one out. I'm um, gonna use some paper snips to cut 
And again, if you have the dies, this would be so much easier because there is a die that coordinates. I always like to leave a little border when I'm fussy cutting. Um, how about you? Do you leave a little border or do you, um, do you cut right next to the image? I personally like the border, but I know um, some people don't like that, that white to show. Um, so definitely let me know what you think. Do you, do you leave a border? The hard part is leaving an even border, isn't it? Like we, we may be good with like an eighth of an inch border and then it might get to be <laughs> a quarter inch in some places. Um, but I think especially if you're putting it on white cardstock, um, underneath it, then it, I don't think that the border you know, if it's not totally even all around, I don't think it's as noticeable because it just sort of blends in. But since our dies die cut with a little border, I always feel like fussy cutting with a border just makes it look, um, it makes it look like it's die cut even if it's not. Okay, we've got, oh, that's cool. <laughs> we've got our piece here. And then for our tag, we're gonna use black. And I have another piece of, um, another piece of basic white. So we're gonna punch. Dad, you're the coolest. And the punch I'm gonna use is this one. I just love this. This is the Essential Tag Punch. Do you guys have this one? This is um, actually one of the freebies that you can choose during celebration. They just added this um, in February. And I'm so glad because it's one of the punches I use the most. It's just so versatile. Um, I love the size, I love the shape. And so we're gonna use that tag. Let's start layering this a little better so we can see. So we can see what we're doing. We're gonna put this white layer on with some regular adhesive. And then um, the motorcycle on with Stampin' Dimensionals. And I'm gonna put this on with regular adhesive so that I can add Stampin' Dimensionals on the tag. Oh, I'm so glad you like it. <laughs> um, Rubbing the edges of the bike die cut with black to match the background. That's a good idea. I I don't often do sponging like that. I don't know. I just like the um, clean lines usually. So I, I wanted to overlap this a little bit, but I don't like the way it's covering up the image. Um, and now I'm wondering if it should be a different color, like if we should have used gray or crumb cake for the tag. Hold on. <laughs> what? That's right. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do a little tear. I don't think I like that better. I like it this way. Okay. Doot. A little more, a little more adhesive to put it back on there. I reserve the right to change my mind. <laughs> Tuck it underneath the bike. I think like that. Ooh, another tag and layer. What color would you make the layer? Um, let me see if I can find a smoky slate. Scrap, because I feel like I would like that to have a little contrast on the card. 
this smoky slate? That's smoky slate. Oh, I'm just knocking things over. Let's get this back out and we'll see what we think about a gray tag. The other thing I have, should have done that the other way so I could punch it better. <sighs> the other thing I have to somehow, maybe if we want to incorporate is um, those studs. Okay, what do you think about the gray tag? Do we like that? Is it too big? There's the studs. The studs come in silver and black. Oh, heck yeah. I just think this would be really cool, like. I don't know, that's not, <laughs> that's not as cool as I thought it would be. <laughs> Another option is to add, add it to the wheels. I know, really cool, right? Okay, what did you guys think of the gray? Um, I know, I do think the tag looks a little big. Um, okay, I think you guys are saying you like the white tag. I think the tag looks not as big with the white tag and the gray just like it's a different shape. So I think that's why maybe the white tag um, feels a little more proportional. What do you think of an angle down here? Oh, Julie, you're so indecisive. <laughs> How about an inside while we're, while we're doing this? Um, so what do we have for the inside? We have, you are legendary, classic, authentic you since forever. And right on, it's your birthday. I think I want to do, you are legendary. Because this could be for Father's Day. It could be for a birthday. I feel like it leaves it open-ended to be for whatever we need it to be. <laughs> my daughter's in the shower and I can hear her singing it is so adorable um okay we're gonna do on the inside we're gonna do the smaller the smaller motorcycle I'm skipping the stickers so that we can go a little faster <laughs> So stinking cute. And then we gotta make sure we're getting it right. You are legendary. Oh, I love it. I love, love, love so much. Okay, I see you guys saying you want to tuck it in there a little bit more. Like that. Oh, you know what I just thought of? <laughs> What if we did the tag? Oh, what do you think about that? What do you think about the tag on top? I kind of like that. Do you like it better with the tag on top? Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh no, just Jersey says no. Um, no, I'm not gonna ink the edges of the tag. <laughs> I, um, I, it's a personal thing, but I just don't like, um, I just don't like sponging or inking the edges. Um, no, <laughs> I like, I like your honesty, Jersey. 
Um, I I just don't like this the sponging or the edging. That's just a personal preference of mine. Um, but I always say, right, you guys could do this however you like. I hope that you're inspired. Um, I did add the studs right there. Um, I, <laughs> I hope that um, you're inspired and you create your card however you want. Sponging, adding layers, changing up the layout however you want. Here's my finished card. I've got the tag up high. I've got the studs on the wheels. Dad, you're the coolest. You are legendary. Oh, I'm so happy with the way it turned out. I hope that you, I hope that you like it too. And thank you so much to Trina for her inspiration. Even though I switched it up a little bit, um, I, I really, really like the way it turned out. I do this a lot where I'm inspired by samples in the catalog or cards other people have made. Um, and I just make it my own and do my own version. Um, and so I hope that you are too. And I hope that the cards that I share inspire you to create your own versions at home, whatever that looks like. Um, <laughs> so I have to tell you, one of the first things I thought of when I was looking at this layout was using this stamp set from um, the Let's Party Kit. And so I might still stamp a little bit and maybe we'll make a second version of this kind of card layout. Um, I thought that these stamps were just the cutest. Let me get out my little flyer, here it is. Um, so during celebration, which ends on the 28th of February, you can get a free gift with um, a $50 qualifying order. Um, and so these are all the things that started in January. There's some designer paper and some stamp sets. And then February 1st, Stampin' Up! added some additional items. And we just used the Essential Tag Punch. You can get that for free. What? For free during celebration. That's the tag punch I just used on that motorcycle card, the legendary ride card. You can also get the songbird builder punch. You can get some embossing folders, the loveliest layer decorative masks, the enjoy the journey designer paper. Um, and you can also get one of two card kits. And one of them just arrived today, the kindness card kit. I had not gotten this one before. And so I wanted to show you what this looked like because I was really intrigued by the stamp set. Um, so this is what comes in this kit. This is the kindness kits collection. And I'm gonna come back to that other, I'm gonna come back to that other stamp set. Here's the kindness kit collection. And um, just like all of our kits that include stamping, there is a clear block as well as an ink spot. So this one includes basic gray. And this is the idea for this kit's collection is that it has these little um, note cards. And so I thought, oh, I'm gonna get this kit and I'm going to do something um, and share a project. I really liked the sentiments in this kit. Isn't this box cute too? I just have a thing for like little tins. Okay, so I opened this up before dinner and I honestly was just like, I don't know what to do with this. <laughs> We've got these little envelopes that are a little smaller than three by three. And then the cards, are just a single flat layer and it's almost like a coaster. It's like really, really thick. And I just thought, that's interesting. Like I was going to use these pieces on another card, you know, and do something with them. Um, but then I just wasn't sure with them being so thick how I wanna use them. So I just wanted to show you what this kit looks like. We've got, um, we have eight different um, eight different cards. And you know what I thought would be really fun? My daughter, Claire, is a senior this year. She's going off to college next year. And I just thought it would be so fun to have like encouraging messages on these little cards for her to keep in the tin. And so when she is away and feeling, um, you know, just lonely and missing everybody at home, she can open up her little tin and read encouraging messages. So these being so sturdy, um, I thought would just be the perfect, um, the perfect weight to, um, to really like last a while. So we've got just this beautiful design on the backside. And so at first you could put each one in an envelope so that it's like a surprise and maybe she doesn't see the note until she opens it. 
They're so perfect for slipping a little note of encouragement or a note of thank you. Um, and so then we have these little self-adhesive die cuts. So some of them are um, skinny and you would put that like on one side and then we've got like these little icons. I love the rainbow. This can go on the, um, can go on the lid and you can decorate the lid. Um, Yes, Melissa, I, I totally thought of the memory game, except the problem is they're, <laughs> they're all different. So there's like this side, you, you could match them up because the colors and this side because the pattern. So it wouldn't quite work that way for a memory game, but they totally did feel the weight of those memory, um, those memory cards. Okay. So the sentiments in here, let's see if we can get, um, get, uh, white background here. Um, kindness wins. You are so amazing. Your smile makes the world a brighter place. This one says, you shine like the stars. Have a great day. I love that. Um, what does that one say? Kind people are my kind of people. You made my day. Um, did I read that one? Uh, pass it on. And oh, here it is. Inspired by your kindness. Oh, so I really, I love, um, I love the sentiments. I can't wait to play. I was not inspired to create something yet. I got to think a little bit more, but I'm definitely glad that I got this and it was free. So I'm really, I'm really excited to play with that. The other kit that you can get for free and I don't have it because I already made them up, is the Let's Party Treat Packaging. And it includes, I think, eight pillow box treat boxes and this really fun stamp set that has an iguana and birds and a balloon and sentiments that say, you're the best, it's your day, hooray, let's party for you, my friend and then like another little texture piece. And so I was thinking of making a card with this little bird and the balloon. And so I think we're gonna maybe make up something really quick inspired by, um, inspired by that layout from Trina's card that we just used. We're gonna do the same, the same layout, but we'll just change up the, um, the stamps and designer paper and do something a little bit different. So I'm going to use, um, I had a piece, I thought, an uh, extra piece of white cardstock. I guess not. <laughs> um, that's okay, we'll get one. So we're gonna go um, three, three and a quarter by two inches. And we're going to stamp in black ink. I'm going to stamp three birds, one in the middle and one on either side. And I really needed a longer a longer piece, didn't I? <laughs> Let's try this again. In fact, I'm like, I'm redoing the layout in my head. Three and three quarter inches by two and a quarter. So we're gonna use a bigger piece. This is how I stamp. I try it and it doesn't work and I try it again. <laughs> Okay, we got our birds. I, st I stamped the, um, I'm gonna do the It's Your Day on there too. I got the balloon. So cute. <laughs> I wanna use some of our celebration paper. And I was thinking about, I was thinking about this one.
We're going to do three inches by five. This is, um, this designer paper is from the Dandy Designs collection. And um, I'm choosing the colors Granny Apple Green and Pool Party and Fresh Freesia. Oh, what color should our birds be? <laughs> I'm not keeping up very well. I'm so sorry um, with your comments. So the kiosk, the kits are not the same as Paper Pumpkin. The kits collection, and there's a whole bunch more on the Stampin' Up! website. Um, and you can shop for them at juliedavison.com slash shop. Um, the kids collection, you can see them. There's a new kit every month and you can order when you want. You see the whole kit. Paper Pumpkin is a monthly subscription kit that is available to, um, to um, everyone in North America. And you don't get to see the kit. Um, sometimes you get some hints on the theme and then the kit comes... Um, the kit comes, uh, every month. They usually bill after the 10th of the month, which is the last day to sign up. And, um, I, I cannot think and color at the same time. <laughs> um, the kits come at the 10th of the month. So right now we're waiting for the February kit to come. And the March paper pumpkin kit is going to be a, um, the 10th anniversary kit is called 10 years of growth or 10, yeah, 10 years, something about 10 years and growing. <laughs> um, I'm really excited about it. It's got some like greenery and some plants. It looks beautiful. And so you can subscribe for that one at paperpumpkin.com. Um, and I think the link to, to subscribe under me is in the video description right now. Um, you'll, you'll probably want to subscribe right away for that one because um, it's possible that it may sell out. The subscriptions may fill up before the kits um, get ready to ship. So don't wait on that one. Make sure that you subscribe right away. Um, Paper Pumpkin to subscribe is, um, how much is it? $23, I think, $21.50, um, so, something like that. I No, I think it's $20. Um, I think it's $23. That sounds right. We need some beaks. And is it weird to make them green? I kind of want to have like a green... <laughs> <laughs> some green feathers in there. Am I crazy? I'm not really. I'm not really thinking very clearly. I didn't plan this card very well. But it's coming together kind of cute like. <laughs> We're going to finish that off. with a card base. I reached down to get one. I'm going to use Pool Party. I know the color in here is um, Coastal Cabana and Balmy Blue, but I didn't have a Balmy Blue marker, so I think this, I think it's going to work out okay. Isn't this cute? This stamp set is so adorable. We're going to go ahead and, um, and finish off our card. I'm making it up as I go, and I decided I want to add a little banner tip to this card. And this is going to go right at the top. I'll have the measurements in the video description in case you want to um, 
in case you want to copy this layout, I started off by feeling inspired by the other card layout and I ended up just kind of changing my mind because we needed a bit of a bigger, a bit of a bigger piece. Okay, I am i can't keep up with what, what you guys are saying. So um, I apologize for um, not keeping up with those comments, but I'm so glad you guys are chatting tonight. I love to see, um, I love so much to see your live chat and I will go back and take a look at what I missed <laughs> when we're all done. Okay, our card is coming together. And I'm just gonna do a little angle on that. It's your day. Oh my gosh. I love that so much. I'm thinking about some sparkle, but I also kind of just want to leave it, leave it plain because there's so much going on with the dots in the background. Yeah, I think I'm just going to leave it like that. Okay. So this was the stamp set that you can get as part of the Let's Party Treat Packaging Kit. And the designer paper I used is the Dandy Designs paper that you can get for free uh, with a $100 order. Do you guys have that yet? There is a not much time left to order. Oh, this one doesn't have my, um, my address on it. <laughs> There's my shopping link and the the um, host code, I'm pretty sure that is one of the current codes. So if you're interested in ordering from me, I will send out a free project kit to everybody who orders in February along with a free gift. I'm working on the designs right now. Um, so stay tuned. I'll be sharing um, that card kit soon. The host code is also in the... Um, in the video description. I like it, Bonnie. <laughs> Wink Estella um, on the balloon. And you know what would be pretty is I should have used some of the glitter paper. Um, that's part of the, I think I have some here. There's a specialty shimmer paper that, um, oh, 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 oh my gosh. I think we need to use this. There are three different colors. Which suite is this part of? Let's, let's look and see really quick. I think it's the Flora. Fine shimmer 12 by 12 paper. It is three different colors on page 15. Yeah, it's part of the Fancy Flora um, suite. And the colors are soft, succulent, fresh freesia, and gold. And so I'm thinking like that would be really pretty. Look at the shine on this. It's not glittery. Um, and so like it's not like gonna it's not going to flake off. Um, but it just has kind of a fun, like, shimmer. I'm, I'm doing a, a tear apart. <laughs> because I want to change the green and add. <laughs> I want to add and change my mind. I'm allowed. <laughs> I'm going to add a little bit of this um, shimmer paper instead. I think it's going to pull in the... Um, I think it's going to pull in the, the purple that I want to pull in and oh my gosh, yes, yes. <laughs> okay, hold on. I got to finish my take apart and then we'll, then we'll put it back together. Oh, and I almost forgot I have some mail call to share with you. So don't go anywhere so I can show you some of the awesome cards that I've gotten in the mail. We'll do that next as soon as we get this on here. Oh my gosh, I love this. And then we'll add our dimensionals. I'm off camera, but I'm just flicking those <laughs> to the other side of the table. I love this. 
I love the extra purple. I love the little sparkle. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, yes, I'm known for my tear parts, aren't I? <laughs> okay, so here are the cards that we made, and then I'm going to show you the, um, the cards that I've received this week. So we started with, if you joined us late, you might have missed it. We started with the hidden flap card. Isn't that one fun? Using the rain or shine suite. And then we made this one with legendary ride and that metal plate embossing folder. I love the way that one turned out. And we finished up with this one using the let's party stamp set and dandy designs designer paper. Oh my gosh, this was so much fun. I needed this creative therapy tonight and I'm so glad that you joined me. Leave a comment and let me know which of these cards was your favorite. Which of are you inspired to try at home and to make at home? Well, don't go anywhere because I wanna show you these cards. I received some fun things in the mail. Um, this is over the last couple of weeks and I just haven't had a chance to show you. This first little mini card is from Lori Collins. Oh, she was saying, Stamp It Up needs a happy Groundhog's Day um, stamp. Would that be fun? Would you use a Groundhog's Day stamp? Um, this is not a Stampin' Up stamp. <laughs> Lori makes little trading cards. Um, isn't that what you call these? Um, right. Aren't they trading cards? Uh, mini? They're just mini trading cards, aren't they? Um Anyway, I think this little groundhog is adorable, and um, it always... I always love Groundhog's Day because it makes me think about spring being so close. Check out this gorgeousness. This is from Diane Gorski, um, who made me this card with all the layers on that thing. So, oh my goodness. So fun. I love the colors in this paper. The fresh freesia, the pool party, the petal pink, and then some of that shaded spruce granny apple green in there too. That's some retired um, designer paper. Just so beautiful. Thank you so much, Diane, for that card. Uh, my mom team Susan Sparklers participated in a one-for-one -one swap and so this is the swap card that I got from Fred Bristol who did a little um emboss resist so he clear embossed the circle and then did some sponging around it to really make that circle pop I know is that not beautiful this is the dainty flowers designer paper and unfortunately I just saw that this is sold out I'm not sure if they're getting more in stock or if it's sold out permanently um, such a gorgeous designer paper so I hope that you had a chance to get this one one of the freebies that you can choose during celebration here's mom swap card Susan LaCroix she made this one um, with different patterns from the Petal Park, a Regency Park designer paper. Oh, I love that. And then the texture shimmer paper back there. I need to use that some more. I love what she did with it. This card is from Jill Pace, a little Valentine's card. I love this. The black and white with a pop of color. I just thought that was so great, Jill. Thank you so much for sending this. It made me smile. And <laughs> I always love getting, um, getting Happy Meal from you. Here is a Valentine card from Diane Gorski. Oh my gosh, I just love these cute little birds. They're so fat, I just wanna pinch them. <laughs> the designer paper is the Country Floral Lane designer paper and then some die cut hearts and the cute little birds are just adorable. Here's a Valentine that I received from Carol Stuckey who used the paper pumpkin um, kit. This was the January kit key to my heart. I had the fun little peek through window. Um, thank you so much Carol for thinking of me. I know she's not watching because she's in Mexico right now. Oh my gosh soaking up some sun. Happy Valentine's Day from Trina Hillegas. I love this with a little like accordion on the inside. It's been a while since I've made a card like this. And Trina, I just might have to case this one too. <laughs> I love that so much with a cute little hippo. Uh, next up, a Valentine from Judy Howard. It just arrived yesterday. Judy, thank you so much for thinking of me and sharing this beautiful card. I love how it has a little pocket with the designer paper um, for the note. I think that's just so clever. Definitely feeling like I might have to case this one too. Here is a belated Christmas card from Karen Fletcher. Chris, thank you so much, Karen. She also sent me these forever calendars. I thought this little booklet was so fun. Kind of a perpetual calendar that you can use to keep track of your anniversaries and birthdays that you want to send cards to. So Karen, thank you so much for including that extra for me. I always love hearing from you and getting your, your Christmas wishes, even though it is February. That is totally me. I'm always sending, sending things last minute. I love it. 
These cards are all extras. Hold on one more. This is not an extra. This one was from um, Deborah Davis, who sent me this card. I love the emboss resist here um, with the different colors. Um, just so beautiful with the blending. Um, these cards are all doubles from the great big card swap. And so if you missed that, oh my gosh, there are some amazing cards. On Tuesday, I did a showcase and shared 95 cards for the great big card swap using circles. And so these were some of the doubles that I received. So thank you so much to everybody who sent an extra card for me. It always makes me so happy and tickles me to receive your extra card. Oh, there's one more. I was cleaning off my desk and it got put aside with some other cards. This one is from Kathy Bradley. She sent two different color variations and I decided to keep the one with the green and mango melody. It just made me happy. I love it. Thank you so much, Kathy. This split circle card comes from Sherry Pyre and she used the cloud embossing folder and the Dandy Designs designer paper. Both of those are freebies that you can choose during celebration. Deckled rectangle really makes that pop. I love it. This little circle, this is a cascading, not telescoping, a telescoping card from Linda Vanderspool who sent this one with the little snowman. Oh my gosh, so stinking cute. I just like want to keep playing with it. <laughs> this one is from Debbie Lindauer and it's kind of got a double flap here. We've got some He's the Man designer paper and die cut pieces from the annual catalog. That big paper pack, I just feel like just works for so many different um so many different guys it just covers lots of bases we've got the camping and the cars and um hiking all kinds of um all kinds of things there it's such a great um great set for masculine cards this one's from joe williams using the fitting florets and um, the coordinating framed florets dies and stamp set wishing you the best day ever that's actually from a different stamp set but i love the colors balmy blue and the polished pink in there soft succulent this one is from Mesa sama oh my gosh this is a little pocket card using the dinosaurs this was actually from our kids swap in January. Um, so no circles on this one, but just so much fun. I just love that pocket card. I'll link up to um, the video to show you how to make this card in the video description if you haven't seen it yet. I shared it with the beautifully happy um, stamp set that mom and I did um, during a Sunday stamping video. And lastly, a special card from April Booth who made this little belly band and this double flap card. Oh, there's the dandy or dainty designs, dainty flowers um, inside. I thought that was so, so much fun. And then the cute little bird and the balloon from the kindest gnomes, uh, wishing you the most magical of birthdays. I love this color combination too. Blackberry Bliss, Pale Papaya, Pear Pizzazz and Coastal Cabana. That's a really, really fun one. Thank you so much to everyone who sent me cards. You guys are amazing. Thank you for making me smile. And I hope that you're sending lots of cards um, and making all your friends and family smile with the cards that you're sending them. Thank you for tuning in tonight. If you enjoyed this video, please give my give it a thumbs up. Um, I always love to see your comments too. So let me know what you're doing, what you're stamping, how I've inspired you. Have a great evening. Have a great few days. I will be back on Sunday with Sunday Stamping with Susan and Julie at noon central time. Mom and I are featuring the By the Bay suite and I have a really awesome fun fold card to share with you. You're going to love it. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell for notifications so you don't miss out on that video this Sunday at noon central time. Have a good one and I'll see you next time. Bye!